A murder mystery still haunts a small town in Idaho as students return from Thanksgiving break. Over two weeks have passed since four students at the University of Idaho were stabbed to death in their home. Ashley Soriano is live. What are you hearing, Ashley? Good evening, Christine. Well, it's back to school, but not quite back to normal. Students here are worried about more than just their grades. With two weeks left in this semester, the campus remains on edge with a killer still on the loose, no suspect or even a person of interest. I think everyone would feel safer if they found who did it. Um, and also, it just is kind of like, it definitely changes campus. Like, it's a lot quieter around here. Yeah. With little information on who the suspect might be, students on campus are alert, and so is the rest of the community. Since November 13th, the Moscow Police Department has received 78 calls for unusual circumstances, up from 70 for all of October, and 36 welfare check requests in two weeks, up from 18 for all last month. I've seen like a lot of police around, and just like it seems like everyone's pretty vigilant. Um, so I'm not too concerned but obviously like they haven't found the person so there's still like a threat. Students have the option to finish out the semester online and police have increased security since the four fatal stabbings. I feel safer on campus like I've noticed that there's a lot more campus security so I'm feeling good I feel like I can just walk around and feel like safe wherever I'm going. Aaron Snell, a spokesperson with the Idaho State Police, sat down with Fox's Lawrence Jones cross country over the weekend, maintaining this was a targeted attack. Yet police won't say exactly who was the target because it's, quote, pertinent to the investigation. Uh, we recognize there's fear in the community. Um, ultimately, uh, there is a person or persons that is in either our community or someone else's community who's committed four murders. And so people need to be alert and aware. Some have asked whether these killings are related to a 1999 double stabbing in Pullman, Washington, and another in Salem, Oregon in 2021, but police say they have no evidence to suggest this, and there will be a candlelight vigil tomorrow evening on campus. In Moscow, Idaho, Ashley Soriano, Fox 11 News.